Hello there again, chainsaw enthusiasts and others who just need chainsaws. Um, I've had several days ago a little word about this segment of chainsaws. So, here we go. There is a niche of chainsaws that, I don't know, makes people um, make up their mind about purchasing a chainsaw upon how they just look. And if they don't look like the classic chainsaw, see that? Looks like a very united piece of engineering. Even this one, which is... It's not mine, but I'm taking care of it. I'll, I let it rinse in anti-rust substance overnight. It will stay like this. Later on, I'll take care of it. But you see that these two don't... Um, they're like off in a way. Rather than the classic... Wood cutting, timber, timber cutters, you know. So these machines are not popular. But if you look carefully, this one was um... <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, it's not my mother language, my mother's tongue. So this baby, this puppy. Uh, was sold as the 200, the MS-200. But the more popular one was the T version of this, which is this one. No tail, just this climbing... Um, how do you call this? Lineared? Yeah, lineared... <laughs> So the other one, the T, was the like the most popular chainsaw ever by steel. And it was an incredible piece of machinery, and yeah, one one hell of an engineering on that one. So uh, not many people knew that they had a converted rear handle version of this. Uh, specifically, this one was uh, obtained as a T, as you can see, a top handle one. I um, switched, I think I switched the tank or something. I did, a, I did improvise a little. I had to um, improvise with the breather, the air that has to come in to the tank, to the gas tank, to, so there would be no negative pressure inside the tank because it needs to draw uh, fuel and let air come inside. So that's an improvisation. Originally, um, it was MS-200 uh, using the same um, crankcase, um, recoil cover, um, brake cover, and a different, this one is from the T version, the um and a different brake lever and different handle situation so these are that's one piece the black plastic is one piece as you can see this was made to convert the t version to a rear handle version so just imagine I don't need to imagine, I have it, so <laughs> I'll tell you guys, just think of the power to weight ratio of this machine, and it can go, uh, the 200T, for those amongst you that know that the 200 and the 200T, this engine could rev up to way above even 14,000 RPM, and it was... Um, the best power to weight ratio in this class 
So imagine having this power to weight ratio in a rear handle chainsaw working on the ground. So it's 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 a breeze to work on, to work with. So it was pretty neat, but it's pretty old right now, but it's still amazing. Um, now we have the it's uh, it's air the two hundred and one rear handle a non T version right so you can Google it and see what I'm talking about and uh, watch YouTube and see even there is also the MS two hundred and one CM which is Amtronic it's being um, fuel jetted automatically with a uh, computer and sensors and you don't even have the carburetor jets to mess around with because it's doing all the work for you you just need to play with the throttle and be a little artist to cut well with it but that's my own opinion now Husqvarna have their their own top handled 500 and something 530 530 I don't know 35 something 35 the top handled one and this is just the same just sporting a different handlebars situation uh, pretty similar to what steel did with this um, but it's not the only difference is that this one is the the top professional grade it has uh, a, an aluminum case and uh, um, needle bearing uh, on the crank so it's way sturdier it can go forever I don't know almost forever and quicker because it can sustain a lot of heat in the bearing so next so the only difference that that's a case with a top end uh, piston and cylinder this has a, a complete closed enclosed engine inside a plastic case okay so that's by Esquarna and the steel version of this a little older than Esquarna was this 192c this is even lighter than the two of the others it's a smaller engine it's a 30 or 31 cc engine but it has its advantages because it's so light and it's really easy to mess around with so 35 cc professional grade uh 35 cc sort of professional grade or medium class in between and uh either homeowner class or carvers the wood carving people really love these machines but if you don't do wood carving and you need a, a tool to work on the ground to limb and to have small limbs to cut or I don't know just cut some firewood and you don't like the weight of these machines and you want ease of use you want light machine um, easy starting machine you don't need to bust your hand and bust your whole body these machines are a breeze to start it's a smaller engine um, you need to to deal with less compression as if it was a larger machine and it's even it's even have a lower profile so the center of gravity is even better with these than the others 
but also this one is also a 30 31 cc this is 35 it's even more powerful than the 170 to get the same power as this one to i don't know the parallel one is either get the 200 rear handle or get the 211 the ms211 which is also 35 cc but it's a bigger one not a lot bigger it's also a great machine but this one is a different center of gravity and it's a bit lighter i think i don't have the details but i remember holding those two machines and i think that this one is lighter um so to conclude these machines especially the newer ones i don't have the 201 rear handle version right here uh, that's what i have i converted the t to a non-t um i imported these i just lurked till i found the uh handlebars uh and cover you can see where it's from <laughs> it's way overseas it's not even close um and i needed to deal with a few improvisations for the venting to the fuel tank and the carburetor i think i used a carburetor from um 020t the not not the av the older one it was the same as a 200 t just with screw caps so it's the older one it has a different vent on the tank so uh also the vent and also the carburetor was were good for the rear handle version so there you have it um people just refrain from checking the rear handle versions of the top handle engines and it's a shame because these machines are awesome just awesome you, you must you must grab one and try because because you're you you just might be missing on something so missing out on something sorry um they're pretty easy to maintain um look at the inside When you remove, let me just, you know what, you know what, let me just show you. When you remove the bar and chain cover, which also has the chain brake on it, because it's an external braking system. So always remember when dealing with a Squarna to undo the chain brake before you take the cover off. I think it's on most, maybe even all squares, because if you don't undo the chain brake, it won't go up, it won't, you'll have a hell removing it. So when you remove the cover, check it out. You can reach inside and clean this machine like a breeze so just to give you another tip that's a thing that I implore everybody to do when the day is done just removing the by removing the cover you can see all the the gunk and junk so you can just just even not by using air compressor just just doing this Rinse it with WD-40 or, I don't know, just not, do not use carburetor spray. Do not. It's acetone based and this is petroleum based. Let all the gunk melt and flood it down from the oil passages. There you go. Um, the 439. That is so a real cool machine. Been working with it for the last couple of weeks. It's a great machine. It's a great machine. This is my own, this is my personal baby, and this is the team's 
there you have it uh, rear handle conversions of top handle chainsaws I I'm a fan I'm a big fan see you guys take care be safe see you on the next one